Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included with me, Lathrix, and of course, welcome back to our little base. Now, with our heat under control and our oxygen doing very well, it's time to build some stuff just for the duplicants to make them a little bit happier. So today, we're going to add fully functioning lavatories, and we are going to add a shower. I have also found a little bit of bleach stone over here here, which we are going to collect so that our fellows can wash their hands before they eat, which does indeed make them a little bit happier. We want a lot more of the passive happiness increasing stuff so that we don't have to resort to the massaging table and other stuff like that quite as much, because right now this fellow isn't even helping out. So while she relaxes there, let's get everything else sorted. So what I'm going to do is deconstruct one of these outhouses to build our first ever lavatory and we're going to sort out how we're going to get the water from here. Now, what we can do, and a lot of people did tell me this, is you can actually have a closed system with the lavatories and the showers, and then a single water purifier, in that the lavatory will make 1,000... Uh, I think it's like one kilogram of water is how it's done in this game, of foul waste water. That goes into the water purifier, which then gives you 1,000 normal water back, and then you can put it back into the shower or the lavatory or whatever. It's all nice and good. Okay, five kilograms, but the same concept is there. It essentially gives you the same amount of contaminated water as the water it intakes, so you can just clean it and put it back and clean it and put it back, and therefore you don't have to attach it to the basic water system. You only have to do that the first time to actually get the water into the lavatory. So that's something to bear in mind. I'm not going to do it this way because I feel like that looks a little bit odd, and I do do kind of want a room dedicated to cleaning all of the foul water we will be collecting anyway. So since I'm going to do that anyhow, I may as well connect it all up now together. We also have things like the liquid bridge, which means we can actually put pipes over each other so that we don't get things mixed up, so that our duplicates don't end up showering in poop, for instance. So we begin. We need the liquid pump to begin with. Now this does need to be submerged, and I think that means completely submerged, not just partially with the bottom section in the water, because although that does look more natural, this would be better. This also means, because this is the lowest point of our water reservoir, it will always be able to pump out water, which will be very, very handy indeed. So I'll just let our duplicates sort out all of this and then put down some tiles like so. And then I'll be right back when the pump is built, because then we need to hook up some power to it and also sort out the pipes for the very first time. Amazingly, we're also out of storage space. We have got a lot of stuff. Well, here's hoping that electrical cables are absolutely fine going underwater, because if they're not, we're going to have a problem. Well, less of a problem, more of an annoyance. You are far too good at that. That underwater building, though. Sure, that seems reasonable. And then add an extra bit of ladder there to make things easier for ourselves. And then we go to plumbing and liquid pipe. So, I'm hoping that the liquid pipes can go next to the cables without any issue. Seems like they can. Okay, fantastic. So now we need to get the water up here, so, and down here as well eventually, but for now, would it be best to build up like this? That would make sense, but at the same time, I want the foul liquid to be coming down here because that's where the purifier is going to be. So, clean liquid on the right, foul liquid on the left. Like so. And then we put the lavatory there. Oh, that's annoying. This has that on the left and that on the right. Can I flip this by any, way, any chance? No? That's annoying. Well, minor issue there, but not too bad. I guess we'll just have like an o a overflow on the top. An overflow? That's not the word I'm looking for at all. An outlet on the top. Since we are going to put more next to it as well, I'm going to have to deconstruct this, which is a shame, and I want at least two of the new lavatories keeping one outhouse for now so people can go to the toilet whilst we're building, which I think would be fairly helpful. Close. Advanced filtration. 
can sieve one selected liquid out of a liquid mixture, sending it into a separate pipe, gas filter, all other sorts of stuff. Uh, yeah, okay, let's get that next for research. You know, you guys are meant to be asleep. Stop eating and go to bed. You just don't like doing what you're told. Well, that's annoying. Apparently, granite can actually leak water. And so we've got some foul water now building up. Well, isn't that just wonderful? Get that piping down quickly so we can fill in the hole again. Uh, priority this. Now. Or I could have just built a tile there like I just have. That would have been so much easier. Sorry guys, I know you're all upset now. And we've got a little bit of contaminated oxygen as well, but not enough to really be too much of an issue. Guys, please cover that. Thank you. So close. Almost everything is now complete. As you can see, the lavatories are piping out all of their waste up here. That's going along here and through our new tile section. This is going down all the way to our water purification room with our water purifier, which is about to get a new pipe, which will take the fresh water to our reservoir. It's not the neatest of things, but I do like the fact it's all linked up and nice like that. It also means when we need more water and we have to actually go through for this contaminated water, we can just put down a pump and instantly attach it to this pipe and it's already all sorted for us, so it will make things easier for the future. And there is a lot of water nearby as well. You know, you're meant to be asleep right now. You're having way too much fun with that. Carry on. Time for the rest of the plumbing. So clean water comes out here, and then we could either just hook it up straight to the pipes, which I don't want to do because I'm silly, or we could do what I'm about to do, and have it go into here. So I think the liquid vent is the outflow. Yep, it is the output. Put that there. And can they get to these? I think they can. Once that's done, everything is ho actually hooked up. The lavatories can work. And then we can remove the outhouses. Do this. This is important. Sleeping is not as important as being massaged. It is done! Okay, nothing is complaining, so let's remove the outhouse. Oh, yeah, I was going to add a mesh tile here, wasn't I? I completely forgot about that. Outhouse, go away. You tile, go away. I'm going to add a piece of mesh there. But first, let's make sure it's actually cleared. No, you can use these now! Why use that? Really? You used it one last time before destroying it. Goodbye, outhouse. Maybe he has some kind of connection to that outhouse. Who knows? Now we just need to wait until someone uses one of these darn things to see if everything's working correctly. Does anyone need to poop? Oh, plants have died. What a shame. Sadly, they do die after so many harvests, and this means now it's going to take a long time for them to regrow. That's why I actually made some lice loaf in preparation because now it's going to take like three cycles or something like that before they can actually be fully regrown. How long is it going to take, tiny, tiny little stump plant? It'll take five cycles. Need to be aware of that when that happens. So, all in favour of moving the bedroom up here, say aye. Aye! Okay, good. Um, so we could just use this ladder as well. That seems reasonable. Ladder! Up! All the way to there. Then we put down some regular tiles. We'll do some mesh soon, of course, so it can, can keep on falling down. But for now, let's just do regular tiles. Oh, we could have it lower. We could just have it here. Next to the compost. I mean, they don't have to breathe it. Something like this. Okay, that seems more reasonable to me. A lot easier to do as well. So, cancel that. Don't need these, obviously. You can go away. And that will be the new bedroom. All nice and connected. 
and then we just put a piece of mesh here and a piece of mesh there so it can keep on falling down. Don't want to put mesh here though, otherwise this will become a giant carbon dioxide trap. It's going to anyway, but that will just make it worse. Someone's using the toilet! I have never been so excited for this! And there it goes. If I go into plumbing mode, can I actually watch- Yes, look! We can <laughs> actively watch the poop! <laughs> Wonderful. And there it goes! Drip, 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 and it's working! Fantastic! And because we've done this, like I said before, once we start pumping all the foul liquid into the water purifier, it will actively fill our reservoir so we can keep on collecting for all of our needs, like our algae stuff. Very cool. Very cool indeed. And somewhat disgusting. Here's a question. I don't make contaminated dirt anymore, do I? Because it gets purified and all this. Which means our f our fertilizer is no longer going to be created. Thankfully right now, I'm not actually using fertilizer, but there is a plant which we can grow which actually needs fertilizer. And I think it's one of the better plants. Let's have a quick look-see. Can someone please make me one planter box here so I can check this out? Build it now. I'm very impatient. Hello, planter box. So the other plant is the blossom seed, a barbed fruiting plant that produces an edible bud. And this creates one bristle blossom. Max harvest is five. This is only three. But you get less calories from the bristle. Initial growth, ten cycles. Regrowth is two. This one is five cycles into 2.5. Why would you go with the blossom? I don't understand, it's just... Although you can harvest more and it's faster in the regrowth, that initial growth, which will happen after every five harvest, is foul. And, I've just realized something else, yields one bristle blossom per harvest for a thousand calories. This yields 15 mealwood. Now obviously the mealwood itself is less calories, but even so, it's just... I mean, it's easier to eat, I suppose, and move around. I'm going to plant it, just because I'm curious now. Wow, it even can't stand temperature at all. It's overheated at 22.5 degrees Celsius. Yeah, I don't understand why you would want this plant. It seems awful. Just take it away. Perhaps it's used in food. Oh. Maybe it's used as a medicine, because eventually we do get the apothecary. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Small problem. The water purifier is actually incredibly warm. I didn't think about that, and I should have thought about it, considering we had this problem before. I wonder. Is it worth having this here, then? I mean, on the upside, with heat rising, it should be trapped up here, and eventually the bedroom, which won't be the highest point forever. Ah. Now I'm a little bit annoyed. This is actually going to be a small issue. Thankfully, it's only one thing, and I wonder if that temperature is always like that, even when it's not working. Let's have a quick look-see. Where's the heat overlay? There we are. Yeah, it's definitely producing heat. On the upside, it will be trapped. Actually, yeah, it won't be that much of an issue, because it's going to be trapped. This temperature goes up to here. Yeah, maybe it's not actually quite as big a problem as I originally thought. Mostly because we're not allowing any exchange here. We could actually completely box it off. Will we ever- oh no, we do need to go there because it needs sand, darn it. But what we could do, though, is deconstruct this door and instead make a manual airlock. Now that won't allow temperature through, or at least as fast, because it will restrict the gas flow. I'm going to remove this tile and replace it with a gas permeable. This way, the carbon dioxide being trapped in here should be able to just flow down and flow towards these algae terrariums and this mega carbon dioxide trap. Which honestly isn't even that bad, because as it fills and eventually spills out, the algae terrariums are there to clean it up, so until we start mining down, 
That's fine. There we go, perfect. Now, the gas permeable tiles. Blocks the flow of liquid, okay, good. Of course, we'd have to be very quick. If I do that, maybe that can be placed without destroying the initial tile and flooding everything? Maybe? Excellent, no! What? Blocks the flow of liquid. That's not blocking the flow of liquid. Is that still coming down? Is it still flowing through? It's hard to tell sometimes. Drip, drip. You lied to me. Blocks the flow of liquid. This is not blocking the flow of liquid. It's fairly obviously not. Well, that's annoying. Does it only block it if it's like this, perhaps? Oh, I see. No, yes. Maybe if it's on top, it doesn't go down? That's weird, and I'm very confused right now. The new bedroom is pretty much finished, so let's get rid of everything over here. Right now, we have no need for it. So, say goodbye, including the masterpieces and such, because we are going to be walling all this section off. There we are. And I'm also adding a manual airlock so that we can get this contaminated water very soon into the system and then pump it out over here as fresh water. I think everything's going okay. Although our fellows are getting pretty hungry. They can survive one more day. How long is this going to take? One more day, okay, we'll be absolutely fine. And that was because of the regrowth which was needed. So I think we do need some more farming sections as well. This isn't quite enough. We could have it in here. Especially now this is attached. That's why the pressure's so high. Maybe. Or of course we, do, we could just add an extra piece of tile here and then have a whole other set of them, which would be pretty easy. Let's work on getting this bleach stone then so that our fellows can Wow, you had very interrupted sleep. So that our fellows can clean their hands. Um, okay, what I'm going to do is dig a little bit here first. Put in a manual airlock. Like so. I said like so. Tile that, and then we can dig in peace. Now, of course, this does mean our poor fellows are going to suffocate a little bit while they're here. Oh well. But they should be fine. And then get me that. I'm assuming being in hydrogen won't actually hurt them, they just can't breathe it. Food shortage! Oh dear. Oh fine then, you're all going to have to eat dirt. No wait, you haven't ate yet today. It's okay. I think everyone will be fine. But just in case, let's make a couple of mush bars. I don't want new people. They take up resources. For now. Eventually, I will have new people, but not yet. I'm just too attached to the ones we have already. That looks so disgusting in so many ways. Oh look, all of our plants have um, healed up. Because, because now all the heat is up here. Whoa! Look at that! That is actually sort of horrific. Boom! 60 degrees Celsius. Wow. Okay, we actually need to do something about that. That is way too high. I'm fairly certain wires and such, you have to get these special insulated ones, otherwise they will get destroyed by very high temperatures. Do we even have them yet? Not yet. Connects buildings to power sources in extreme heat can be run through wall and floor tiles. The heat is actually coming down now, though, because it's so hot up here. Oh, uh, we're going to have to do something about this. Utilities! Hydrofan dissipates and thermoregulator cools the gas pipe through it, but outputs heat in the immediate vicinity. So obviously, you build this, then you block off the section. So we could put it here, and then pump gas through. Okay, that's something for next time. That's a bit too complicated right now for me to figure out just on the fly, but... Whoa, that's horrific. So we need 50 kilograms of bleach stone. That's not enough. Okay, well, collect it anyway, and break through here to collect that as well. Really glad we built the airlock. 
somewhat tempted to make two airlocks though. Now chlorine gas in real life is very very dangerous, however in this game it doesn't say it's toxic in any way. Like when you look at the contaminated oxygen, it's very toxic. This just says unbreathable, so maybe chlorine gas isn't that bad as long as you don't have too much of it because then it acts like carbon dioxide and just clogs everything up. Let's find out. So now do we have enough of everything? Let's see. Excellent, we now have it, and it even gives a plus to decor. We're going to put it here. Now, we actually could put it like there instead. Remove that plant, but we're going to put it here because they will only use it before they eat a meal. So it makes sense to go there. Okay. And you can stop making that horrible food now because that's going to give everyone diarrhea. So cancel, cancel, cancel. Never going back here again unless we really want that hydrogen. Hydrogen does indeed float above oxygen. Food shortage, yes I know, but look, it's just about to become food. Everything's fine. I'll even turn it into lice loaf this one time. Oh look, a little bit of hydrogen did get through. So that is when we would normally go down the route of using, I think it might be in refinements or in plumbing. Where are you? The gas filter, essentially. The gas filter there. Sieves one type of gas out from the others. Well, considering it's only that little amount, we're fine. We don't need to go through that much effort. But even so, that is something we will need in the future. Food! Glorious half-alive food. At that moment, Lathrix realizes plants are alive anyway, dum-dum. One of the first times I'm seeing someone not having the grimy hands. Well done. Now sadly, this does require bleach stone consistently, which is very annoying. But we do have quite a bit over here, so as long as we keep it somewhere like here, perhaps we'll be safe. Although, by the looks of things, chlorine gas goes down. It sinks to the bottom. Oh, so we'll just end up down here anyway. That little bit of hydrogen is going to be so annoying. Whilst everyone sleeps, let's sort out our showers. So, plumbing, showers. And do these need electricity? I imagine they do. They don't. Oh, I guess it is. Of course they don't. It's just the water pressure, which is over here, and that's where all the power consumption comes in. Okay, let's make three showers. Probably a bit overkill, but I'm fine with that. And once again, we have the clean water on the bottom, and the filthy water can go up on the top. So then really, to make things easier, we should build the showers last and build the pipes first. Like so. It's not a permanent solution, but I have just removed a bit of stone here to allow more space for the gas, and the temperature dropped rapidly, as now there's a new area it needs to heat up first. Really not a permanent solution, but we can just keep on digging higher and higher, and the temperature will go down more. That is so lazy, it's terrible. The first shower is ready for use, I believe. Excellent. Let's just make sure that all of our water supply is actually connected to this thing. It should be. Yes indeed, here comes the water. Ta-da! We have showers, and that's going to make them very, very happy. My god, that takes up a lot of water. Good job we have this. And there it goes, rejoining the main reservoir. So, next thing then. Decor. I believe there should be a painting in there. And a statue. Okay, maybe the statue is a bit overkill, but still. Our stress is now at an all-time low of only 6%. People are very happy right now. They can clean their... Did that have a tongue? I think the hand sanitizer just licked her hand. 
I did not expect that. Can someone please use this so I can see this again? Also, is that the chlorine? Okay, so chlorine does drop then under oxygen. So it's above carbon dioxide and under oxygen, so it really isn't too much of a threat then. It's just going to pull down here like everything else. Well, at the top. So I guess it could become a problem eventually then. Can someone please use this? Okay, let's watch. No! Use this! Someone, please! Anyone gonna use it? Anyone gonna use the hand sanitizer to prove I'm not going mad? No more lice loaf now. Stop using up all my water. We're good for food. In fact, we have loads of food right now. Um... No. Grub, you are breaking here, buddy. Just... Can someone please mine that so he can actually get out? Prioritize. Maximum. He's glitching out on that rock. Someone, please, dig this now. Thank you. What on earth was going on there? Also, yes, I am building a sculpting block in the water. I think it'll look funny when it's finished. The next step is to get more water into the bay. So, what we should do is dig down here with a nice ladder, then dig across, put down the pump and everything, and then break this and run back up. That seems like the safest bet, and that way we can drain this entire section, which is a lot of water. I don't think we've ever had that much water in the base at any stage. And I'm hoping that it won't go higher than this. I'm actually a bit concerned there. There are ways to stop water flow if we go into plumbing. Where are you? I know there's options. The liquid vent, that's... There we are, the liquid valve. Increases or decreases liquid volume. Oh, I thought that was just like a stopper thing. I am confused. I just hope this can't pour water above its own height. Also, hello, Chlorine. One thought I just had is even if this liquid vent does allow water to go above, what we could do is just dig down further here and then put the liquid pump lower down. It's really quite easy to do. So even if that does become a problem, it's a very easy fix. With that, though, I am afraid I am all out of time for today's episode. If you have enjoyed, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Oxygen Not Included is a series you would like to see continued in the future. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye. And Grub here can go and get a massage after almost drowning. Thank <laughs> you.